Well, thoracic outlet syndrome is, is a, a unique condition uh, where the blood vessels or nerves are pinched in the base of the neck, up uh, near the uh, collarbone, right behind the collarbone, uh, in a deep part of the neck where these nerves or vessels pass. They usually pass between two muscles over the first rib. And uh, athletes can get problems of nerve compression or vessel compression there because they use the arm in an overhead manner frequently. So it's often a repetitive motion type of injury. Other patients may develop thoracic outlet compression uh, as a consequence of an injury, motor vehicle collision or a fall in the arm. Uh, and then some patients have anatomical differences like an extra rib that they're born with and at some point become part of the compression. Thoracic outlet syndromes have intrigued me since I came onto the faculty here and I've uh, developed an expertise with these relatively uncommon conditions. Um, but that has actually grown and from a clinical practice perspective, um, that's grown enough that now that's all I take care of. And that's a busy uh, clinical practice, probably the busiest practice in the country regarding thoracic outlet syndrome. The other thing is that we see a lot of patients who've had and suffered from symptoms for many, many years before they found us or before they were referred, some as long as 10 years of disabling arm symptoms. They may have undergone many other procedures or operations uh, that didn't help. And uh, it's still a thrill for me to see those kind of patients do well after an operation for thoracic outlet syndrome, which may not have been suspected for many years, and uh, to see that kind of patient and find that they have a condition that we think we can offer treatment for and then have successful outcomes is, is still really a thrill and one of the things that keeps us going.